Hello, I'm Councilman David Levi Anderson of the 4th District of the City of Dover. I want to welcome you to a little bit of an update, trying something new. I like to keep updates on my Facebook page and, and other outlets, but I wanted to look you in the eye and talk with you about some important issues with our city. Unfortunately, I can't. So this is as close as I can get. One of the problems we have in our city is that unfortunately, the voice of the people seems to be often forgotten. Uh, one of the areas that we've seemed to have dropped the ball is in our recreation, our youth activities, and our parks. So, how do we change that? One of the things that I pressed for was a recreational needs assessment, which went to the people and found out what the people wanted. You take that, the in-call data, and the uh, social action committee of uh, Mount Zion AME survey, and you combine them all together. Um, and along with what people tell us, and you can get a pretty good picture. I think the city staff did a great job uh, with the needs assessment. They were very serious about it, and I want to thank them for it and praise them for the work they've done. Now, the uh, what do we do with it? In my opinion, one of the things that we're going to have to do is very simply actually put into use what the people say. The people want a skate park. The people on the east side want an indoor facility. And we know that people are clamoring for things like a police athletic league to, to help uh, the youth have something positive to do and to be able to relate with positive role models. Youth need to understand the police aren't the enemy. They're on our side. It's the people who are victimizing us, the criminals, that are the enemy. So, what are we going to do? I think we need a new strategic plan which prioritizes away from things that, we, that aren't going to serve us most of the year and prioritizes us towards a public-private partnership which will manage the building and therefore keep labor costs low, take advantage of one-time monies that can be available, and maybe drop things like uh, splash pads and spending hundreds of thousands of dollars on something that would only be used a couple months out of the year. A PAL community building that houses education and other activities would serve the city well, it would serve the people well, the entire city, not just the east side. So that's what I'm thinking about. Come out and express your opinion uh, next Monday, uh, next, sorry, next Tuesday, change at 6 p.m. Have a great day. Thank you.